Hey, level one, we are going to learn a little bit about symmetry. And when you think about symmetry, you initially, when it comes to art, you might think of a vase. And this one, you've seen an example of the two faces and the vase in the middle and the symmetry behind it. So the thought here is whenever you start, just use the left side of your brain. You're going to name the forehead, nose, the mouth, the chin, and you're going to just name whenever uh, this thing ends right here to the neck and get that out of the way. But what we'll do is we'll end up flipping this thing over right here. And it kind of helps whenever you flip things over to cancel out that thought that there's a, a face there. We still know that it's there, but it's just upside down. So we may not so much notice that as, as we go. And I'll show you other ways that we're not going to notice it's a face. And we're just gonna focus on the way that these lines and curves and relate to um, what you see on the other side. One thing you can do, and I would recommend that you do this, is if you take a ruler and you connect this area to this area, it just gives you a little guideline, just real lightly, and you can erase it after you're done, but it just gives you like a little barrier whenever you're actually drawing, and I'm going to do that to the other side. So you'll know really how wide this thing is going to need to be as you go. There's nothing wrong with that. Another thing that you could do too is you're going to find the center area of this line. This line, uh, I measured it out. It's a little less than five inches. So um, I found the center. It is uh, two and seven sixteenths, which is a little bitty tick mark away from two and a half right there. So I made a little mark right there. And what I ended up doing, just really, really lightly, I did just a vertical line down. So that can kind of give you a little, little something, a little something else to work with. After you're done drawing this thing, just erase that center line. And you really don't need this line or this line after you're done. And I don't think that's cheating. It's just uh, using what you have and what you know to help you out. So you're going to be given two pieces of paper and the paper that you guys are going to be using is going to be used to cover up certain sections of your work so you can just focus on really truly the way that each line is going directionally on your paper so you can see this line is cutting here one thing that i've seen people do is they'll literally take either a ruler or their pencil or a pen or something and they'll measure like from here to here and they'll say okay that's a certain amount and then they might make a little dot make a little mark on the other side where where that ends that's not a problem you know i think measuring estimating is is very important in art if that's how you want to do it you could you could do the same thing right here where things start on this side so i've got two little marks and so what I'm going to focus here is what's outside of this. And I'm going to try to make this weird circular uh, at the bottom triangle right there by looking at the other side. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep my pencil glued to my paper. I'm not going like back and forth like this and making really sketchy lines. I just made one singular confident line that I think looks like the, the other side. You can see that. So uh, what I'll do at this point is I'm using my other piece of paper right here. Let me move this little thing up a little bit for you guys. Okay, so I'm using my other sheet of paper. The main thing to tell you too is, is make sure the paper is straight. You can line it up with the edge of your paper as you go on, on either side. So that'll definitely help the situation. So your goal here is you're going to end up making this little shape. You can estimate, you know, where this begins and ends right there. If you want to make a, a little mark right there, where that begins and ends. And you'll take that line. I have part of that line just showing that I drew right here. And you're going to take that and 
as you're as you're doing it, you're going to look at the opposite line, looking at the curve or the opposite line, and you're going to end up connecting that line right there. You may end up going back over that line a little bit, but the main thing is don't don't sketch like that. You can go back and just solidify that particular line as you go. And you can go back and like uncover what you have and you know see if there's any areas where let's just say you need to erase that little point right there. You can. So, I mean, this is shaping up pretty good. And that's basically just in a nutshell, the tips and tricks of how you could end up doing this to make this thing symmetrical. I hope that helps.